Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fatal Zone. So I've put in a little bit of time since my last video. I mean, approximately an hour and 11 minutes farming up uh, Tracy here, who is a Katana Firestorm wearing brawler. Um, who's also got 72,000 kills. Uh, the mutations for her, pretty decent. She's got 15% fire damage, 17% HP, 18 luck. 8% more luck, projectile sides, AOE, more HP, one pierce, 78 smarts and seven smarts. I kind of want to get rid of the seven smarts, I think one, but we'll do that later. It's kind of weird. I also like did some other people, but you'll see that later. We're still on the no bat train till that happens. But I also, you know, we haven't done city parking. I also finished the first city parking. So let's do experience city parking. I haven't I haven't done this one yet, so we'll have to see what it's like. The city parking on vanilla was definitely harder than I say vanilla and noob. Tier one city parking was significantly harder than like tier one forest, but um yeah, so we're gonna gotta go crazy. Uh the main thing with city parking I notice is that like you got these bomber guys straight from the go. But yeah, so this character is pretty good. Oh, I didn't go over her talents. Um, we have a lot of stuff that makes her stronger. I don't think there's any way for me to show it now. Um, what I'll do is I'll um, insert that right now where I'll go over the talents. These are the perks that Tracy started with right here. 10% damage, 30% damage, physical damage um, to enemies within five meters, 15, um, percent physical damage while we're moving one versus all um damage and reload speed for every enemy within three meters 30 percent aoe 50 percent physical damage while standing still and 75 percent uh hp i am um, ooh, we do have extra fire damage Maltov isn't terrible if we take them all tall, we have to take incendiary ammo, and I don't really want to do that. I'd rather take like frag grenade. Um, it's like whatever. I'll just take katana for now. So, the more that I've played this game now, I don't think you really need to evolve everything. I think it's really more about setting up yourself up for the best possible like two weapons or whatever and just kind of filling that out. Oh, um, I didn't mention, but we also unlocked superior ammo, which means um, we have this to look forward to. So um, yeah, L look forward to that later in the video because it's happening. If you have not experienced it, since you have to kill like 300,000 enemies to unlock it, uh, you just take Bio Destructor. As soon as you see it, you just always take it. It's so good in every instance. There's no reason to ever not take it from what I've seen so far. Especially as you level it up, it just it does so much. So this character does more damage while moving. We have 53% physical damage like straight out the gate, which is kind of why we want Frag Grenade. Um, Kunai's okay here, but the problem is like we don't care about projectile speed really at all. So I'm gonna use one of my one of my rerolls. Okay, gigantism is kind of insane. Uh, it increases the range of our sword slightly, but more importantly, it increases the range of bio destructor and the other AOE stuff we're gonna get, such as like mortar and frag grenade, ideally. And um, it's yeah, it, it's important. It's important to the long term. I've really, I, I when I, I spent some time like not while well, I'm not talking about the game, just trying to like figure things out. I kind of get it now. Um, my opinion about the waves being too long still stands. This is kind of tough because I think, I think rushing for Bonkai is probably the best thing to do. Bio Destructor is really tempting. 
I think if Katana wasn't there, I would easily snap up by a Destructor, like right now. Just because of the massive range increase. Battle Destructor is like one of those things that, even without evolutions, it's just really overperforms. And I'm wondering if you could build like a toxic damage heavy build character, which I mean, it's very apparent that you can based on what's in the game. It's just actually doing it. We actually have a buff when we're standing still, I believe, based on talents, but um, that's going to be safe for later. Um, quick hands is too good not to take. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, um, one of the odd things about this game, right? Some of these passives, you're almost just like, it doesn't matter whether you're using the upgrade or not. You just kind of have to take the passive because it is so good. And quick hands falls into that category. For the same reason that Bio Destructor like kind of just clears everything. There's frag grenade. Now, the real thing here is the 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 FPS uh aka frames per second for the 0.3% people that didn't know what I was talking about there um, is going to suffer greatly once we get these things evolved. Uh, I'm going to reroll here. I don't want any of those. There's a mag pouch. Great. We don't even care about Kusarigama. If we, if we get it, cool. If we don't get it, I don't care. Doesn't really matter. Um, I like mortar over grenade drone. I think with the increased AOE, it's just good. Uh, this all sucks. <laughs> if I'm being honest, and we're forced to take one. Because we used our rerolls, and we only have two, unfortunately. So we were using a less than optimal build here. Um, as far as things we need, we have to take long arms. For a frag grenade. So... Strength Drain does nothing for us. Cell Regen is okay-ish. I'm going to take Expert Scavenger and just try and get more meta progression. I think we'll actually be strong enough that that works. All right, let's take Frag Grenade. It's kind of a shame, but I mean, it's what happens. One thing, like, the further you get into the game, you know, is you like the higher tier armors and stuff start giving you more rerolls so like i have another character that has like six or seven rerolls or something it's like kind of nice um gigantism yes we have to get long arms for frag grenade to actually work it's like super important um we could probably do okay without it but i don't know I will take... I'm actually going to take Gigantism over Quick Hands right now. Quick Hands is going to be better once we get our Katana up, but we don't currently have that, so... I also, I haven't really talked about the stage, but I kind of like what they're going for here with there's actual obstacles and stuff, unlike the other stages. I do wish some of the cars had like alarms that would pull zombies to them. I think that would be a nice touch. Our buildings or stuff like that. Ooh, mag pouch. It's one of the few times I'm gonna take katana over mag over like anything over mag pouch. Um It's just so good. But like getting the katana evolution is insane. Like in the membrane, if you will. All right, there's a sucky sucky. It's important. Uh oh, gross. Gross. Okay, well, here's the deal. I can't take a passive, so I have to take the shocker, which, like, it's actually not that terrible. Oh, shocker. Um cans basic you know I'm looking for a very specific thing here I'm gonna take the mag pouch now 
So one of the problems with Shocker, right, is that it doesn't get buffed by long arms. Okay. okay. I, I have to take that there. And then here we can either take a drone or the grenade launcher. I think we're supposed to take grenade launcher. Probably. That's up in the air, though. So one of the problems with Shocker is that you don't get extra projectiles for some reason. I think I understand why, because once you have it maxed out, which I did in my last run, it stuns enemies for like three seconds. And it happens pretty quickly. Like the cooldown, but um, it only hits in a line, so I don't know. It would be cool if it like scaled with projectiles at like a 0.5 ratio or something. So like for every two projectiles, you get one extra. Because right now it just feels kind of bad, right? Like you get extra projectiles and you think you get more tasers, but you don't. We will continue to take Bio Destructor, where Katana and Frag Grenade don't exist. Katana. Katana Rama. Do I play Deadpool in Marvel vs. Capcom 3? I mean. Yeah, but you probably didn't play Deadpool seriously in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but like you play Deadpool, right? Like. Throwing grenades, saying Katana Rama a bunch. It was fun. Uh um, let's take frag grenade. Give me stuff. Okay, sure. Katana. I think that was Katana to nine. Right? Yeah. Okay, so... Now we just need to find a chest. And that's another thing about Mortar, too. Mortar with Gigantism uh, increases the AoE of it so large that it, like, really just starts to clear the screen. So there's probably like a a full fire extra projectiles mortar build as well that's extremely powerful. But this is my this is Tracy, my katana girl at the moment. So that guy decided just to not drop a chest for us. That's cool. Um, let me keep taking mortar here. Again, the expert scavenger there is kind of kind of a shame, but it is what it is. Take frag grenade closer to an closer to the evolution. Those are the only two evolutions I really care about. I mean, actually, those are the only two weapons I took that can evolve, I think. And look at the radius of our bio destructor right now. It's insane. And if we had better, like, if we had better passives or, like, more AOE stuffs for our passives and talents and whatnot, we could have a bigger area out of structure. So you can really, like, craft some crazy characters here. It's just you got to put the time in. So there's, uh, there's, there's some more stuff going on here the, f the deeper you get into the game. Um, we are just shredding things now. The mortars are going absolutely batshit crazy on these things. Uh, um, I, I will continue to take mortar. Uh, um, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to take gigantism to up the mortar range. Like, look, we're eight minutes in. I feel like we're already crushing. We have no evolutions. Now, this character might be a little too strong for... For, what is this, tier 2? Of, of the city limits or whatever area this is. 
So that could have something to do to it. I think this character is probably set up for like a tier 4 run or something. Tier 5 maybe. But that's part of it. That's part of the game. Uh, let's take grenade launcher, sure, whatever. One thing that's cool about getting long arms level up all the way, though, is that it'll pull in stuff from really far away. Um, this takes superior ammo. It also increases our AoE. Quick hands. It's quick hands time. Yeah, this is this is going swimmingly. Uh, I'm gonna take long arms now. Superior ammo. Quick hands. We do have to be careful because we don't really have a lot of defense. Um, long arms this time. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Oh, we got a sucky sucky. That's great. Let's take the expert scavenger. Superior ammo. Grenade launcher, whatever. Should probably take scavenger now. Max out quick hands. Let's even go find stuff. Oh, hey, do you have a do you have a crate for me? You do? Oh, look at that. Bankai. Uh, I've seen what this does, but y'all are about to get to see what it does. So, it might look a little underwhelming at first, but if you read the bottom part, it has a 5% chance on the third attack to literally just clear the screen. It's not bad. It does a hefty amount of damage, I would say. So it does basically. From what I've seen so far, it does a couple of things. So you, it kind of has that attack around us, right? It's like a combo attack. And then the third part of it, it drops that like, uh, like. I guess flower pattern underneath us. That's the third attack. The third attack has a 5% chance to uh, nuke the screen. Which, I mean, we're already kind of doing, but it will literally do it. And it's dumb. It's dumb dumb. Is it as good as Baseball Bat? No. No, it's not as good as Baseball Bat. However... However... Is pretty strong. Also, at some point, I'm pretty sure we got the 75% extra HP talent. So we have like. Well, I guess you guys would have gone over that. So, anyways, yeah, I have a lot of extra HP than I normally would with my other characters that you've been seeing me do these runs with. So. Yeah, Tracy's gonna go insane here. Look at look at all this. This is insane. Look, I'm just gonna keep taking levels. Yeah, that's cool. Fantastic. We did it. Okay, and now that that's happened, I'm pretty sure we've won, so... Oh, we don't have the... Fr okay, wait, wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, now we have the frag grenade upgrade. Okay, now now that we've won and we have our fully upgraded kit at level 12, at 10 12 minutes in, I am going to finish this run out by my, you know, just by my lonesome. And... All right, well, now that we've completed the build, I'm just going to finish this run out, uh, see what mutations we get, and we're going to do a run into a different run with a different character. 
That way you guys aren't stuck with 20 minutes of me um, doing absolutely nothing because uh, that's what this would be here. Uh, but uh, if for some reason we get into trouble or whatever and there's difficulty pops up, I will, um, you know, show that. But assuming that we just absolutely roll all the enemies and whatnot, then uh, yeah. All right, well, this is what the last two minutes of the stage looked like. Um, it's pretty hectic. Frames are a little sketch. A lot of, a lot of stuff on the screen. Uh, not really too much worry here. We've been hit one time. Basically, there's this charging zombie who leaves a pool of poison on the floor. Who can actually do a little bit of damage. So I'm, I'm being wary of him because obviously I don't want to lose his character. Also, we're level 258. It doesn't matter at all. We don't get anything for it, but you know, I, I mean, it's funny. Um, but yeah, outside of the one charging zombie who, um, leaves a pool of goo no real concern here we're kind of just crushing it probably gonna have 40,000 kills or eh, maybe a little less than 40,000 oh it's that guy right it's those guys right there yeah they actually with that many of them, they might have been able to kill me if, um, you know, they had all gotten a hit. Now, that's a shocker actually came in handy there because they got completely stunned. Oh, this is a lot of materials, too. It's nice. You got to be careful, too, because there's a bug where if you if you like press accept too quickly to pick up a crate, the like content of those crates. Um, and there's said multiple things in it. I've noticed sometimes the it won't pause the game. So th zombies will still be after you while you're trying to collect your stuff. And that can be like extremely dangerous. So you have to watch out for that one. But um, otherwise, yeah, we're, we have cleared this difficult. Are we gonna hit level 300? Yes, we're at level 300. All right, let's see what we get for this. And for 40,000 zombies, nice. All right. We got 2,800 parts, only 637 chips, 10K coins. Chips is kind of the thing we needed, but that's all right. It's fun. Anyways, anyways. All right, and now it looks like we leveled up Tracy, but we don't have the gym high enough and we can't even upgrade HQ because it looks like we don't have enough chips, unfortunately. What did she get as far as this? Well, first things first, we have to heal her no matter what. She got 8% AOE. It's all right. Let's get rid of the smart, 7% smarts. She doesn't really need that. And then we need to win a run with um, a scavenger, I believe, is what we're after. Yeah, we need scavenger, biotech. Use airstrike 15 times and Play some more tankers. So I think we're gonna take Quentin out on the town here. Oh, he has he's a little bit weaker. Right? He's gonna take some luck. Um I'm gonna Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh, it's so many of these things. I don't think so. So we to be able to upgrade this more. All right, so we're taking a Mercury Boomerang Quintin out. He is a scavenger at level two. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win. He's been on two raids that I've evac'd early. Uh, we're not gonna go to city parking. We're gonna go to experienced endless desert and see how far this goes. This one, this one could be dangerous. Um. I don't quite have the faith I do in Quentin as I do in Tracy, but we'll see. It's weird, too, because I think Boomerang's better pre-upgrade. But we need the projectile, so we need, like, a mag pouch and stuff like that. So, also, let's look in our stats. We have a lot of physical damage. We could get knives. Let's just take Boomerang for now. 
Well, that was an airstrike. Dagger drone, huh? It takes superior ammo. I think we could just try dagger drone. I don't know. It's different. We'll see. This is an experimental run versus the last one where I kind of knew we were going to crush. Take boomerang. See what we can get done here. Extra projectile. There is long arms, but we're going we're gonna to take boomerang. Maybe we won't do frag grenade here, even though even though our stuff wants to do that, like our stats are telling us to go frag grenade. Oddly. Drone, if you could just like clear out that pack of zombies, that'd be great. No? Okay, cool. Not quite as explosive, but again, we just kind of want to get Biodestructor, right? Right on time. Right on time. Uh, we could Rabbit's Foot. I guess we go to Rabbit's Foot. We just try see what the evolution's like early. With extra projectiles and get all the radius stuff. Maybe do better. Maybe we can get duration. Maybe with enhanced duration, it gets better. Well, these aren't it. Also, I have eight rerolls, so that's kind of cool. Projectile speed. Is that good with boomerang? I don't even know. Oh, this is all trash. I'm not happy with that. All right, mag pouch is great. Yeah, maybe with mag pouch and gigantism and the prolongation formula i mean if we're doing that then isn't strength drain isn't this good because that's creeping death or is it better to have the fire i think this is probably better right but we don't need it now Let's just take boomerang i don't know decide later because it, it there's potential that it does nothing if we don't get the whole build mortar's so good so we need kasarigama if we take mortar now then we need kasarigama and we need um a grenade that's fine i'm fine with that mortar is good enough to justify it like you saw in that first run how how much it did. Uh, these are not it. Let's reroll. Bio Destructor is an easy pick. Easy pickup. We got bit. The infection is spreading. So yeah, a lot of this is like, you gotta get your characters in there. You gotta level them up. You gotta get the mutations you want. If you don't get the mutations you want, you gotta spend time treating their sicknesses. Which thankfully seems to be like a real world sort of thing. Cause like the last thing I do before I stop, like turn off the game is I'll click to treat their ailments or whatever and whenever i come back to it even if it's like a sec you know even if it's like i hadn't done anything else in the game the next time i come back to the game they're it, whatever it is is fixed so pro tip make sure you remove all the mutations you don't want before you stop playing for whatever in whatever session you're having or whatever i don't know words words are hard um you know what i mean it's a little scary right now mortar is a 
another boomerang. Yeah, so we need an extra boomerang for the damage. A boomerang is just kind of good. Like, oh, uh oh. Full metal cyclone. Are we already hit it? Okay. Let's see it. Gigantism. That is another one we want. In theory. I'm not evac- Oh, we're dead. Oh, fuck. Quentin, no. Well. <laughs> well, that- That didn't go as planned at all. Holy shit. Um... Quentin's dead. Well. He lived, uh... He lived a short life. Quentin. Let's see, is Tracy still healing? Nope, she good. She good. We gotta heal her of something. We gotta fix one of these other things, too. Smart. One piercing. Does one piercing do anything for her? I don't think so. Let's get rid of that. Alright. What do we have? Ronnie? No, I'm gonna... See if we have somebody else. We got... Um, I need a biotech guy, but not with a gun. He does toxic damage. So we want somebody who's like going to evolve into something interesting. Spear. Does the spear evolve into a, it evolves in that life leech weapon. Mercury. I think he has mercury. Max does, right? No, he has Fox. Who has Mercury? <laughs> uh, is a Hunter. Leon has Lich. Oh my god, everything has- she has Lich. Ed has Firestorm. No one has Mercury. Um, do I want to try a Spear Mercury Biotech? I mean, I guess we can. Let's just go over here, upgrade this to decent levels we have money all right this guy's a decent start now what does he start with extra aoe all right well it is what it is you know <laughs> we'll have to try this again anyways that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe you guys know the deal and i will see you next time uh jeff out bye